Revelation chapter 12 verse 9. The devil is a deceiver. He is mocking all the holy things. He wants to take away all the holy things and make it evil things. All the good days, he wants to make it bad days. He is a deceiver. We read like this. The great dragon was thrown down. That ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan. The deceiver of the whole world. He is the deceiver of the whole world. He is deceiving our children. He is deceiving our community. By spreading his ideology in order to defeat the Christ ideology. We should never partake in it. Praise the Lord. He was thrown down the earth and his angels were thrown down with him. His angels, the devil and his angels are working especially on these days. Therefore, we have to be very careful. In 2014, there was a meeting of exorcists in Rome. Almost 300 priests came together and prayed and discussed about what is happening around the world. And one of the conclusions of their meeting was this. On the day of Halloween, the evil is becoming stronger because so many people are encouraging him, glorifying him. Children are en enjoying by putting the costumes. By doing so, there is an initiation to occult practices are taking place. Every Halloween celebration is an initiation to occult practices. It is dangerous for our children. They do not realize what they are doing. It is our duty to teach them. Tell them it is wrong. It is not good for us. This is of this world. Praise the Lord. A hallelujah. Therefore, let us read 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 and 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 and 4. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by its cunning, your thought will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. There is a possibility. I am afraid. St. Paul says, I am afraid. In a cunning, crooked way, the Satan deceived Eve in the beginning. Now I am afraid your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. In the beginning, all Hallows Eve was a sincere devotion and glorifying the holy people, the saints of the church who followed Jesus and followed Jesus, uh, you know, uh, in a radical way and died for Jesus Christ. From this pure intention, pure devotion, now the whole focus is changed into the devil. Now the, everyone on this same day, especially on the eve of All Souls Day, All Saints Day, People are focusing on evil, the pictures, ghosts and murder, violence and all scary, scary things. This is the work of the deceiver. The deceiver is deceiving our children. We have to be very careful, my dear brothers and sisters. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14. Let us read. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14. No wonder even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Satan also put on dif different dress. And Satan also comes in a good form like angel of light. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to be very careful on that day. It's not that we are supposed to be afraid of the evil one, but we are afraid of our children falling into this prey. Our children should not be a victim of this evil one. Praise the Lord. Therefore, it's our duty to teach our children from falling these, into these kinds of things. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Many people, even today, there are many people who say, this is harmless. Let them have some party. Let them have some enjoyment. Why do you want to stop? This is the day all the children come together. They enjoy. Let them enjoy. It is harmless. It is not going to affect us. My dear brothers and sisters, I have told you already what the exorcists from Rome, when after the meeting, what they said is true. On, they said 
those days, especially during the Halloween time, there are so many phone calls, all these exorcists get saying their children behave in an abnormal way. They behave in, uh, their character has changed and there are so many things that they speak. It is available in the online, all their findings of these exorcists. So we have to be very careful, especially on that day. Let us read. If anybody say it is harmless, it's okay. Remember one thing, Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20, we read like this. Oh, you who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light, light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That Bible says already there are people who call evil as good and good as evil. Many people, they don't want to celebrate All Saints Day. Children do not, you know, how many of our Christians are celebrating All Souls Day, All Saints Day? How many of us are going to the cemetery and pray for our departed souls? But from the same Catholic Christian families, our children, youngsters, even family members, they decorate their home for the Halloween and with all the evil and pumpkin with all the evil uh, carvings. Do you know the history of pumpkin? Jacko, London. Jacko, London. There is a history for this. There is a superstitious myth about this. It's only a myth. What is the myth of it? Some years ago in Irish, Ireland, there was a man who was living, his name was Jack. He was a stingy man. He never used to use money uh, and he used to collect all the money. One day he used to trick God and trick devil. And one day he invited devil for a uh, uh, party. And then he took him, took the devil for a restaurant for food. And then he said, I'm not going to pay the money. Then devil said, I don't have money too. Then he said to devil, don't worry, you become a coin. Then I will pay the money. And then devil became a coin. And then he paid the money. But somehow he collected money back. And then uh, he put it in his pocket and made a cross there on his pocket. So the devil could not come out of the pocket. He, because he made a sign of the cross. And then he made a pact agreement with the devil and said, if I die in the future, you should never claim my soul. Then the devil agreed. Then he released the devil. And somehow like this, there are two, three times he tricked the devil. And later it is believed that he died and he went to heaven. But Saint Peter did not admit him into heaven. Then he went to the hell. Since he had already made an agreement with the devil and said, devil said, you are not permit, permitted to enter into the hell as well. But devil and he had a very good connection. Therefore, devil gave him a burning coin, burning coal, and said, you take this and move around. And then this jack collected this coal, the burning fire and he took a turnip. It's a, a kind of a vegetable, a, like a potato. He carved inside and put the light inside. And then he used to carry this and move around. And he's called... When he moves around with these, uh, people he started calling him Jack of the Lantern. Jack of the Lantern. And later he became Jack of Lantern. And uh, those people fr from Ireland, when people started going to America, in America, pumpkin was very uh, available so much. Then instead of taking turnip, they started taking pumpkin and carved it, put lights in it, and they... They uh, project it and keep it outside their home so that in case if Jack comes somewhere around, he should be chased away. So that is why they put all these uh, pumpkin with that carved pictures and all those things. That is the uh, symbol, the history or maybe mythology, myth of this, you know, uh, Jack or lantern. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, there are so many pagan culture, mythology connected to this Halloween. Therefore, we have to be very careful if in case if our children are going to celebrate it. The first point that we need to remember, Halloween glorifies the evil one. 